So we're at our property just north of the Drake neighborhood where we've got a treat for you. We're gonna be showing off our construction progress. Um, we're in the painting stages. We have a couple weeks left on this project. Um, it's looking really great so far. Um, we're gonna be wrapping up the finishing touches and putting this on the market just after the holiday season. Uh, kind of like when you're opening presents, when you get a hoarder house and you start to kind of uncover the layers, you start to see things you didn't know before. So when we started clearing out this house, we saw a big bowed wall in the front that needed to be fixed. So that's what we're working on now. We've got the house jacked up. It was a bit of an expense we weren't aware of, but uh, we're gonna tighten up this foundation. So our contractors are in the process of painting all of the painted woodwork and keeping all of the stained woodwork. We're protecting it in order to keep the old charm uh, we also have a beautiful stained front door, and so we'll be putting custom glass into the front door in order to keep that really great, authentic 1920s look. All right, so our elves or uh, contractors are here working, priming some of the trim uh, in the dining room, which is right off that entryway living room. As is a common problem with some of these older houses, the kitchen was a little bit tight, so we took out a non-load bearing wall and extended our cabinets out a little ways into the dining room to give ourselves a little bit more room to cook. After choosing to take out the wall between the kitchen and the dining room, we decided on a two-tone kitchen look. It just allows us for a great transition between the dining room and the kitchen. So we have white cabinets for the uppers, we have gray cabinets for the lowers. Uh, we'll also be putting backsplash and tile and appliances in this kitchen to finish it off. Heading upstairs, you'll see some of that painted trim that Michael was talking about with the fresh white. It does look really clean. Um, you'll also see all three bedrooms as well as the full bath up here. And then right through here is a really cool attic space. Let's go check that out. So now I'm up in this third story attic space, which is a cool, unique space. I'm not sure what this will be able to be used for. Um, we're just gonna paint it, tidy it up a little bit. We'll leave it up to the end buyer to figure out what to do with this extra room. Thank you for joining us here at our construction tour at 31st Street. Uh, we should be wrapping this up in the next few weeks. So if you're interested in seeing the final product, uh, reach out to us. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. You filthy animals.